Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Um, this is actually a Halo Wars 2 video and the beta just got released about four or five hours ago I believe. And I it's actually a long a long long video for you guys today, about fifteen minutes I'd say. But it's the whole game and we actually pulled out a win so it's actually pretty cool. Um I'm kind of like an OG Halo Wars 1 player, so I kind of knew what I was doing, but there was a lot of new aspects and a lot of new changes that they added. Actually, there's a really big difference in the graphics, as you guys can see. Um, I tried to zoom in a lot during the games, like, to get that full visual effect for you guys. And at first, I thought, like, right there, I was kind of looking around, I didn't know what I was doing, because it said somebody was sniping me. Apparently, there's, like... Instead of just normal infantry, flamethrowers, and Spartans in the game, there's like snipers and uh, a different kind of ground unit. I didn't, I didn't get to build that yet, um, but I will be putting out more videos of Halo Wars 2 beta for you guys this uh, these coming up days and stuff. But I, I actually got a double up but today. I think I got uh, a Halo's, Halo 5 um, like boss killings, and then I got this so I could tell that my teammate was like really experienced and I wasn't because he already had like his his other base up and I was I didn't even know what how to build the reactors and stuff because to upgrade your base you have to have different reactors and such and I didn't know that yet but normally in the Halo ones you have um, one big reactor and then you would upgrade it to have two which gives you two power which can normally build almost anything in the game, but not upgrade it fully. And this, you have to have a constant supply of um, mass, and then you have to have a constant supply of regular energy, which is way different than Halo One. Halo Halo One was you had four, you had a max of four reactors, and then you could just build the rest supply pla supply pads. And this is. It's, uh, you have to have a constant supply of supply pads and reactors. So it's a big change. And there's a lot more things on the map that you can do, at least in this map. Um, there was, I think I needed more energy. So I went, I took my troops down and put them in a, um, reactor. It was like a basic reactor without being on my base. And that actually boosted up a lot so I could build up some more even uh, some more army and uh, the army capacity is bigger than uh, this one in Halo Wars 2 the normal Halo 1 army capacity was 40 this one is 60 and I didn't even get in the settings to upgrade that so it might be 70 so we'll just have to see about that and I'll make some more videos on that right there that I'm trying to build is uh, just one little base I'm pretty sure it can only build infantry though, which is kind of disappointing. And those yellow things right there on the right side of the screen is supply supply drops, where you can just send any kind of unit, basically that's small enough to collect them, and then it's like it collects a certain amount, and then the the troops just walk away from it. And what's different on this one actually is when you spawn in, your bases already have four turrets on them, and you can then you can upgrade them. In Halo 1, you had to build all your turrets, and they were like $250 a piece, which was kind of a struggle to get those up when you were trying to upgrade your units and get those maxed out as well. I didn't really know what to do with this, so I didn't. I just left it alone. And then I think I started to go to my other base and work on it, which is probably a smart idea. I'm pretty sure I just blow this one up. Yeah, I just blow that one up so my teammate could have it. At this point, I'm sending my units down to build that secondary base that I was talking about, so I could get like some like tanks and airplanes. I'm pretty sure I got um, three tanks and four airplanes. And these these airplanes were weird. They weren't like normal Hornets. They were like 
I think they were like giving my infantry support, which is weird. It like had these like green lines like going down to my it is so weird. And uh yeah, I don't know. It takes, uh, for in Halo 1, it was actually, like, really short to build a base. This, it actually takes, I think it took, like, a minute, a minute or so to build that base up. So, I mean, if your enemies were smart enough and they were, like, had their base up, they could easily come counterattack you and take out your base. Now, this is that other energy generator I was talking about, that, that weird thing sticking up in the middle with a bunch of spikes on it. You have to, like, send an infantry or something over there to claim it. And then they, it like has a percentage up, and when the percentage builds up enough, you get the energy and it starts um, giving you way more energy. As you can see down in the bottom right, my energy is going up just a little bit at a time. I think I have like 630 right now. And then once you notice after this thing gets to 100% on the complete thing, my energy starts going up a lot faster. So these things are going to be a big aspect into the game. If you capture them first before your enemy. And the game mode is also called Domination, I think their beta version is. And the more um, outposts and reactors you capture is a big difference on whether you have 5,000 points and your, t uh, your enemies don't. So, as you can see, me and my teammate are actually winning right now. We have a max of 5,000 and they only have 3,800. So we took 1,200 points from them by capturing most of the generators on the right side which is all blue and then on the left you can see those are white and which are unclaimed bases so our enemy hasn't done anything with the other reactors or um, supply depots and stuff so we're actually like me and my teammate were really doing good this game and I, I'm not gonna lie I, I thought I was gonna come in this game and be like uh, really good at it but my teammate was, I, I could tell he played like a couple more games than I did. Because this is my first game. So, it makes a big difference on your playing time in the beginning of the game. Barracks constructed. It took me quite a bit of time, like right here during this during this random stage of the video. Um, I decided I figured out how to get um, your to get troops upgraded more. In the bottom right corner, you see there's like a two with like a weird octagon shape around it. You have to upgrade your main core of your base multiple times um, to get that skill up for you to um, upgrade it. Now, in Halo Wars 1, you only had to upgrade your base to get more um, room to build things and such. This, you have to upgrade your, your base to produce bigger units like the tank. The tank is a three-tier a three -tier upgrade, you see right there. And when you get your base upgraded, I didn't know this before I started, so I kind of learned it as we, as we went. So, in the tank is like a seven man unit team, so it costs seven units, unlike the infantry, which is only, I think, one or two. And uh, my teammate actually went and destroyed that, but I took it from a <laughs> poor guy. But uh, right there, you can see, is one of the main reactors. I think that is C, which is the middle one. And our enemy's trying to take it from us right now, which, I mean, was a stupid idea of him because he didn't have enough troops to do it, so we just wiped him out. And we got our generator back. And by being that, we have 4,900 points while they have 2,500. So we're slowly killing them down um, one generator at a time. So they're not going to be able to build us up. We're going to lose. We need to turn it around. We're losing domination point B to the enemy. As you can see right there, it says you're losing the domination point B he's just talking about that left side on the mini map as you guys can see it's red we didn't even need to control that we just went in and started attacking our enemies because we already had way more points in them so all we have to do is kill their units and we win basically and we ended up pulling off 
pulling off this big win by it because our, our enemies didn't focus on going to get the middle reactors with their starting squad of units that they had. As you can see right there, I have um, those, those weird airplanes I was talking about, the support airplanes, and they're way different than the Hornet. They don't shoot, I don't think, and they only shoot when you pre they have a super ability, which is Y, and when you press Y on something, they will, I think, shoot it. I believe so in the video I have I think I demonstrated it yeah uh, I demonstrated on the enemy bases turret and right now you can see that base right there is tier 4 so or actually it's only tier 3 I upgraded to tier 4 and then I can upgrade to tanks and then I can start building tanks and tanks are a very very powerful unit against infantry and almost anything and especially if you get Spartans which are a special unit in this game they have a special barracks unlike the other little marines and flamethrowers so when you get those they're actually pretty expensive and you put those in the tanks it upgrades the tanks so much it gives you got it gives them veterancy which is like these little stars above the tanks and it makes the tanks so much more powerful they can take down a base in seconds it's crazy how OP tanks are Right there at that moment, I didn't really know what, um, why I couldn't build the tanks. So I know, I kind of figured it out. I had to go kill my units, like my little infantry units. And as you can see right there, the airplanes are sending those little weird green beams down, which I was so confused about because I, I didn't know what those planes did at first. They just looked cool, so I built them. And right now I'm pushing the enemy base, and he's got, I think, a Cyclops, a Warthog, two Marines, and two snipers which is actually new added to the game from Halo Wars 1 up there in the top top of the screen you can see those big long bullets um, those are the snipers and they're taking out my marines very very fast so they're, they're gonna be deadly against like ODSTs and such as that but I actually think those airplanes that I have are supporting my marines my infantry so much that they're taking way less damage from those snipers and I was able to take out the snipers and have my warthog take out that turret and then my teammate actually moved in with some really big heavy um vehicles and we were able to take out the base bef and then win the game so it was a very very easy win basically because our our enemies had no idea what they were doing So after killing my infantry a little bit, I went into the base as you guys just saw, and I actually built three tanks, but I think the game ends before I even get to use them, which is kind of a bummer. And I'm just kind of like building up my bases. As you, That's a tank right there. It's called a Scorpion. And man, they look so much so much smoother and more detailed than Halo 1. It's crazy. The de oh, and those are the, the big uh, guns that my teammate moved in to take out the base. As you can see, we have 4,200 points, and the enemy only has 100. And this is where we pull out, and we, we take the victory for ourselves. So, in Domination, the new beta game of Halo Wars 2, you have to take the main reactors in the middle. If you don't, you're going to end up like this enemy team and lose. They didn't... They, I mean, they had a built-up base. They had a strong base. They had infantry, but they just didn't know how to use it. You have to go to the middle and take out those middle things. And that's what me and my teammate did, and we pulled out a big win here. Alright, guys. This is the end of the video, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.